Hello there, Aquarius. Welcome to your tarot reading. So um, you have some really good things coming in for this month, okay? I feel like for many of you, if you have started a new job, if you are also um, currently at an existing job right now, you, um, I do feel there is going to be a huge uptick when it comes to your income earning potential. So I don't know if you're finding like a new, a more productive way to ease the workflow or you're working more hours or if you're putting in more overtime but i just see this huge uptick for you when it comes to your financial sector others of you might have started a new job that pays handsomely well you know that that is paying you above and beyond what you were making before so you see this exponential increase when it comes to your earnings and those people who are who run some type of a home-based business who might be self-employed uh, working from home even or working on a commission basis you're gonna start to see a huge uptick in your um, inventory in your expanding your business and as well in your financial sector so I feel like financially this is gonna be a very very uh, good month for for many of you out there um, others of you who are still looking for work and I've been see feeling this energy for the past few months others of you who are still work looking for work I feel like you're gonna be able to land something and it's kind of like a career um, you know it's like a stepping stone type of a job that will um, help you boost your resume that will allow you to reach for something further afield so I feel like it's it's um it's kind of like a bridge to get you to your destination and i feel like the process might be slow but when the job comes in it's gonna be like a, a resume a career enhancing type of a job it's a resume boost for you and so stick with it i feel like it's gonna pay dividends in the end when you need that job when you need the experiences in order to you know um leapfrog into another job with higher responsibilities okay so you have some really good things coming through in finance in your career and also in your professional life um for others of you who might have like fallen out of love with an existing job i feel like you're falling in love with it again so you're going to get a lot of positive reception from higher ups from co-workers if you weren't sure you were headed down the right path if you weren't sure if you had all the skills and the the technical knowledge in order to do your job well you're going to get confirmation this month that you're on the right track that you have the skills that you are capable and i feel like you're going to get a lot of positive reception from clients from um from supervisors from managers um, getting really good appraisal getting good recommendations as well as people praising you okay so i feel like it's really going to rub your ego the right way and i feel it's going to make you really happy aquarius um i'm sensing for some of you there might have been a lot of struggles career and finances there have been a lot a lot of struggles since the march time frame for whatever reason um your work situation has never been very stable okay and uh there were a lot of shifts there were a lot of changes there was a lot of uncertainty like uh internally and externally so internally it's more like you're going through this process what do i want to do am i really happy here should i do this should i do that there are seems to me like a million ways in which you could make a living and you're not really sure like you don't want to be pigeonholed into one thing and at the same time you want a, a, a job that is stable but you also want something exciting so you are dealing with a lot of internal conflict within yourself like what do i need to do where do i need to be what location uh what exactly the job that i can see myself you know 10 15 years down the line and i feel like all of these uncertainties are starting to clear up for you as we head into the the end of this year and then for others i feel like there were a lot of external uncertainty the organization you might have been in they're they're dealing with some leadership issues and uh you might have um you might have like you know had really high hopes for a job like you know going through a job interview and then you might not get the call back mainly because that company they're going through internal reshuffling and so i just feel like there were just a lot of ups and downs a lot of instability a lot of just fluctuations and this is the month in which you know the dust starts to settle 
this is the month in which things will really solidify itself for you and a lot of choices um, are you know the, those uh, choices that don't really amount to anything a lot of dead ends they're kind of being pulled away they're falling away so that you can move forward with a lot more clarity as to what do I need to do now what's my next step what's my go career gonna look like what are my goals for the future so I feel like Things are settling down for you guys, and I'm really happy to see this for you guys because I can't imagine being an Aquarius walking around not knowing something, right? So this is, I feel, a really, really good pivotal month in which things are turning around for the better. And interestingly enough, um, we have a lot of major planetary aspects. We have Mercury in retrograde. We also have your, um, your ruler, uh, the planet Uranus, going into retrograde as well. And um, let me just talk a little bit about that because um, Uranus is a planet of instability. It's a, a planet that basically it, um, it creates like a very massive uh, disruptive shakeup in certain areas of our life. It creates, you know, fluctuations, uncertainty, but major shakeups. So I feel for many of you, this is uh, playing out in your relationship sector. And especially in relationships, and if you have been complacent when it comes to relationships, uh, not so, for example, if you're in a relationship and things are just kind of like hanging on, you know, just, just like hanging on by a loose thread, and no one is doing anything to change, I feel like the shakeup is going to be happening in your relationship sector for this month where one party or both parties need to change, but I feel like it's your ruler. So the change is going to be required of you for this month, okay? And um, likewise, I also feel like if there are truths about relationships that you've been kind of denying or uh, sweeping under the rug, those things are going to implode and you can't really ignore them anymore, okay? So um, be careful about, you know, miscommunication, temper flaring, and be careful about making decision on an impulse and especially like if you're really upset try to avoid making a major decision because you're going to be um it's mercury retrograde as well in conjunction with this transit so it's not going to be good to make like uh decisions at the very last minute or at least on an impulse because we usually go back and have you know buyer's remorse and so I want you to be really careful about communication. I want you to be very careful about not operating from a space where you do things out of fear, out of like um, where you do things because you're afraid to lose the other person when in fact you don't, you might not love the other person. So, you know, liking somebody and really loving somebody, these are two different things. You can like somebody, but if you're not in love with them, they might not be the right relationship partner for you. So confronting these issues, where you stand and where your partner stand, those are major, major themes coming through for this, uh, this month. Okay. And, um, let me see. There's other, uh, there are other messages coming through. There was this one thing that came up. Um, they mentioned that you're turning over a new leaf here, Aquarius. And I feel a lot of it is, um, it's kind of like you pushing against the tide, pushing against the odds, making some really serious sacrifices in order to achieve financial stability. And for some of you, you have made these sacrifices. So that means foregoing uh, income, you know, really high income generating potential in order to go back to school. And now you're landing a really good job, for example. And then for others of you, sacrificing a relationship because you know deep down in your heart the other person deserves more and for whatever reason you can't give them what they want and so you're sacrificing you know your ego to let the other person go because you know that you can't love them or you don't love them the way that they, do, they deserve to be loved and so I feel like this process has stretched out and you're dealing for those of you who have made these you know difficult sacrifices things are looking really good for you and then for others who have not, who are still operating from an ego space where you're clinging on to relationship partner because you don't want to lose them even though you might not love them. Or you're clinging on to situations and things um, mainly because of, you know, this perceived sense of security 
because you feel like there isn't something better out there. It could be work. It could be relationship. You need to make some sacrifices. We need to close some doors so that new opportunities can come into the picture for us. Okay. So just, um, just a heads up, I'm going to go into your reading and then, um, if there are things that, you know, are problematic, then I'll be back for the mid-month reading to flush out those things, okay, if it comes up again. So let me just talk about your reading here. Let me talk about relationships, first of all. This card is usually, um, it's, a, it's a karma card. And it, as it relates to relationship, it's a situation where you know somebody is going to be there for you through thick and thin. Okay, so it's sort of like no matter what, you can count on the other person. And no matter what, no matter how rough things are, even if you were to break up, for example, you know that you can for call them, you know, if you're stranded in the middle of the road at like 4 a.m. in the morning. And um, they're going to pick up their phone and they're going to come and get you, even if you have broken up, because you really do care about each other. So I feel some of you are dealing with this type of a relationship where you really really care about another person you really um you really either really love them or you care about them you want them to be okay and there's an element here about being afraid to lose another person so in a way i feel like they you love them but they also can serve as your security blanket because you have this deep rooted trust in one another and um I don't feel like it's a bad thing, but it can go one of two ways, just depending on how you handle it. Because I feel like the important thing is for us to know, do we love the other person or do we just care about them? Are they easy to get along with? Do we have like good chemistry with each other? Do we just get along? Do we see things from uh, eye to eye or is there romance and true love? In the relationship so I feel like you're dealing with these two energies and you're confusing the two and you know Aquarius um, I feel like many of you 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 really value your friendships and even after a breakup you vow to you know remain friends and so the blur the the lines between friendship compatibility and friendship and true love and chemistry and passion these two things need to be sorted out and these two things are not the same thing. So if you're staying with somebody because, you know, you care about them and because you've been through so much together, but the love is no longer there or you're struggling to figure out, do I really love them or do I just like them? You need to make these decisions. And I feel like uh, things are going to be coming up for examination for this month. And if you've kind of been um kind of you know deluding yourself as to maybe it's really love i i don't feel like it's gonna fly anymore okay so make these important decisions and try to sort out the relationships in, um sector because i feel like the light the spotlight is being shown on it so that you can understand what it is how you feel about that person and what it is that you need moving forward i also feel like for many of you there is a major reconciliation here with a relationship partner and it looks really positive it looks to me like you care about each other and it looks to me like there's a lot of um, lingering love that's still in the picture and it feels as if you have been in a long-standing relationship with this person you've worked really really hard at the relationship and there were times where <clears throat> one person was you know feeling the financial hardships the other person stepped up and tried to shoulder the responsibilities. And likewise, there might have been times when one person was feeling, you know, emotionally just um, emotionally just uh, distraught. And the other person really stepped in, stepped in to provide the support for the partner. So I feel like a lot of you are in this, you know, really loving, compatible really loving committed relationship and this is the month in which feelings of securities are going to be stirred up within you you know you're you're really afraid to lose the person and i feel like your feelings about them is going to hit you like a ton of bricks and you're not a, like i mentioned before you're not an emotional sign 
And a lot of the times you go through the motions without processing your feelings. And so um, situations will, you know, come into the, the forefront for this month and it will dredge up these security issues and you're going to feel like i need to hang on to this person i need to control the relationship i need to you know have things my way because you are afraid to lose them so just be very careful of the tendency and the need to control releasing control releasing expectations releasing even trust issues from past relationship that is going to be very crucial for you so that you can have you know a, a more harmonious relationship so that the other person knows that you trust them and that you both can work together you know through thick and thin okay so that's just my initial assessment here based on you know the, the way the cards are falling out um underlying um these issues here and i i feel like some of you have recently have recently uh, broken up with another person or somebody has recently kind of like left you out in the cold okay so this is a small minority i feel of aquarian people dealing with this um i feel like somebody came into your life and really 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 loved you this person really loved you they they gave it their all and um out of your sheer sense of stubbornness your sheer sense of pride I feel like you weren't ready to accept the love because it, it was very deep and it made you uncomfortable and it required um, you to change your ways in order to be with them. So maybe they wanted, you know, like commitment from you. Maybe they loved in a way where it just was a little bit too claustrophobic, like they, they wanted too much alone time. And you're a very independent sign. So maybe it was just, you know, too uncomfortable. It, it felt too claustrophobic. And um, you might have let that person go. Your your feelings, like it, it's like you couldn't reciprocate. You couldn't reciprocate um, their feelings, and you let the person go. And now I feel like you're dealing with the aftermath of it, where you realize that person was actually really good. I want them back, and you're trying to communicate with them, and they're not in the picture. This is like being cast out in the cold. Um, somebody walking away from us. So I feel like some of you, a um, very small minority, are dealing with this where, you know, um, a lot of issues when it comes to relationships overall are coming to light, mainly because we do have a, um, an eclipse happening in, um, in the month of August. And I also feel like with your, uh, with a lot of planetary aspects in Leo, which is, it rules your seventh house which is your house of partnership. It's also your, your polar opposite. A lot of what you need to be happy in a relationship, a lot of uh, security issues regarding relationships are being dragged back up, are being, um, I feel like disseminated, you know, like you're, you're dissecting them in your mind and you're figuring out what really matters to you. So I feel like some of you who might've let go of a really good relationship partner are dealing with the regrets associated with that, okay? I feel like some of you are dealing with that, especially if it's a, a recent person, like um, within the past three years, and then others, I feel like dividing up assets, splitting ways, and that's for like married married people, marriage, long-standing marriage um, relationships. So I, I see like a hodgepodge of uh, possibilities here, but I do sense that, um, it's really important for you, Aquarius, to try not to control situations, okay? Try not to control people, try not to control situations, try not to have, you know, things a specific way because you can get a little bit neurotic when when you, you have like a um, preconceived notion of how things are going to go and in your mind it's going to go that way and then if things even um, deviate just a little bit um, it can it can create a lot of friction and it can um, you know stir up those um, it, it can make you a little bit psychotic so just uh, try not to control Okay, let things flow, be easygoing, be at ease, be willing to compromise and be willing as well to open up a little bit 
so that your partner doesn't feel like you know they're on the defense when they're dealing with you okay so being open-hearted being open uh handed when dealing with a relationship partner i feel you know it's going to be really good for you okay so i apologize for the neurotic comment but i feel that's what's happening here this is a card greatly about clinging on so tightly to preconceived notions to certain expectations to people and um when you do this when you do this it's it's sort of like you understand why you're doing it right but other people are just around you especially people that you love they don't understand it and you don't explain yourself too so that can also create a lot of friction in the relationship because they're just like why are you like this why are you so difficult why are you so you know fixed in your ways and i feel like bending a little bit it doesn't show any weakness it just shows that you care about them enough you care about your relationship partner enough that you can put your pride aside and to compromise with them okay so that's going to be very crucial and i feel like this um, this is going to extend across romantic, you know, relationships. But I also feel if you have a business partnership with another person as well, um, you trust your partner. But I feel like this is the month in which your work partner, like um, if you have financial linkages with another, like a business partner or work partner, or if you work with a partner in your, you know, career, um, I feel like they're going to go through some financial hardships and you're going to be in a position to step up and um, even out the karma. So if in the past you've, you've fallen on some hard times, this is the month um, and, you know, your partner stepped up. This is the month where you reciprocate. Okay, so I feel like your partner romantic or even business partner is going to go through some financial hardships and you need to be emotionally present and you need to be a little bit more i want to say like um you know aquarius i feel like a lot of the times too um it, it, it seems to me like when you see it then you believe it but then the impact is not as strong when people just talk about it but like when you actually see it, that's when it hits home. So for example, um, this is just an example so that you understand where I'm coming from. Okay. So somebody can tell you, um, I'm, I'm really struggling financially. Can you help me pay the electricity bill? For example, and if, if this is your partner at work or your partner in love, um, you, you understand the words that they're saying, right? And uh, you will do it, but you won't really understand how much they're struggling. And so you would, you know, step in and help them pay the electricity bill. But then when it comes to like, you know, they're, if they're struggling with electricity, they're probably struggling with food. They're probably struggling with rent as well. So taking what we know and applying it, you know, more generally, more broadly across the board, it's going to be really helpful for you this month. So, for example, if your partner, you know, has um, fallen on some hard times and they asked you, like, can you help me with this? Whatever else that you feel you can help them with, ask, okay? If you, you might not want to overstep their boundaries and then they might not want to uh, impose too much upon you so they might not ask but i feel like if they're struggling with one area they're probably struggling with others as well so it's really important for you to ask ask follow-up questions you know and see where else you can be of assistance because i feel like there are some financial issues that they're dealing with right now okay so i'm going to leave it at that let me talk about other things that are coming into the picture for you that looks really really good um first of all we have here the two of wands and um when this card first came out i was um they they mention here a need to move a need to re relocate a need to make like a major major transition in your life okay and uh, i feel like this deals heavily with the housing environment that you're in so i feel like for many of you you've been in one place for too long and you feel like you're gathering moss and you're just like, I want to break away. I want to relocate. I want to like uh, live somewhere else. I want to make a major, major move. And some of you are afraid to make this move because your family members, your clan, your family unit is 
close by. So I feel like there's this push and pull factor coming through in your geographical location. On the one hand, there there might be you know security because siblings are there in the same city, uh, mom, dad are there, cousins are there, your your social circle, your um, your groups, associations, they're all there. So it's it's easy for you to just stay there. But on the other hand, you want more. You feel like you have to relocate in order to get, you know, in order to attend school, a really good school, in order to get new energy, in order to get the job that you really want. So you feel as if geographically you are being restricted from all of these things and especially from success. And I feel like you're itching for this change. You're itching for this relocation. Um, it seems to me like you're heavily thinking about it, but you don't really have any plans in place just yet. So if that's something that you really want, I feel like you need a strategy here. Because I am sensing that you might be feeling this urge to just want to get out, do something different, wanting new things. But I feel like it's a very transient energy. It comes and goes. And so if you're serious about it, you need to formulate some type of plan. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck, you know, just um, you're going to be stuck dealing with this energy, wanting new things, but nothing is really happening. Like no actions are being taken from your end. Um, they mention here a very spiritual household. And um, I feel like it, it, it means two things. A lot of you, you have this, um, you, you know, you have like a lot of emotional support from your family members. But at the same time, the family unit, there might be a lot of restructuring where some responsibilities are imposed upon you in a very unfair way. You are a sign that... Um, I, I'm sensing like, you know, you, you don't um, inundate yourself with a lot of responsibilities. So that means you like to travel light. You like to come and go as you please. You like to be, you know, in and out of an environment. If it gets too claustrophobic, if it gets too uncomfortable, you like to be out of there. So you don't like it when other people impose so many responsibilities upon you. Even family members, you care about them. And it feels like you really do care about your family members. And you might want to, if you're further away, you might be thinking heavily about wanting to settle down close to them. And if you're close to them right now, you might want to leave, but you still want to have the safety and the security of the family member uh, and the family unit. And then others, I'm sensing there are a lot more responsibilities in the home. You feel very claustrophobic and you just want out. Okay. So this um, energy brings up for me, um, like children, new, new family members being added into the household. The space gets a little bit more cramped. Um, some of you might have many children and the responsibilities are piling on. The children might be growing and you might not have, you know, the freedom to come and go as you please anymore because other people are relying on you because the kids are relying on you. And then for others, elderly parents are now coming into the household and they're relying on you for things. Okay. So I do sense a lot of like, um, you know, just, um, wanting to break away, wanting to make chart new territory. And if you are in a position where you can do that without it adversely affecting the people that you love, definitely formulate a plan for yourself. Because I feel like new things are waiting. New love, new opportunities, um, kind of like falling in love with your life. New opportunities for you to venture out and explore. It's coming right around the corner for you. But you need to formulate a plan about how you're going to get from here to here. Because the plan... It's not in order just yet, okay? And also, I feel like for some of you, geographically, if you're staying in a specific area, you might be blocked from success. So that means if you're looking for like a higher paying position, if you're looking for a specific position, like a, a specific field of work, uh, geographically, you need to relocate. And I do, I keep seeing this um, west to east relocation. So it could be across the continental U.S., west to east or it could be overseas moving in the eastern direction so i feel like this is something that you need to do and you are just you know very very stubbornly clinging on okay um 
I would advise you to grab opportunities as, as fast as you can. If you're not really sure, you know, like how do I get from here to there? Look and see what jobs are offered. Look to see, you know, what opportunities are available in the new location. And especially look to see where you might be able to shift, even though it might not be the ideal geographical location. Don't think like, oh, I don't want to live there because I don't want to be stuck there forever. You're not going to be stuck there forever. It's going to be kind of like a stepping stone type of a move, and it's going to be really good for you. Okay. So Aquarius, I feel like this is a month where there is a mixture, a big mixture of, um, anticipation, claustrophobia, and also, you know, relationships, um, issues as well. I do feel that the energy is very good because it's forcing you to make a change. And I feel like some of you have been grappling with this decision for a really long time. You think about it, you sit and think and think and think, and you're not really making any moves in the right direction. Okay. So you're, you're just thinking you're living in your head and you're not moving you're not making any concrete action and so the advice here is don't think about it anymore make a move just be done with it okay so it's like ripping off that band-aid just you know one swift motion and and just be done with it so we need to keep moving here and i feel like a lot of fear a lot of stagnation also coming through but you have some really positive things. You have a lot of support coming through family members, um, loved ones that are going to be able to give you guidance. Okay. So I feel like a lot of you need to make a move, but you're afraid that in the process of moving, you're going to lose a significant relationship. You're not going to be there for your family. So these are issues that we all need to, um, kind of like form a, some type of a strategy in order to deal with them, in order to weigh out the pros and cons and then figure out an appropriate course of action. Okay. So that's going to apply for, uh, different people, depending on how you look at things. But I, overall, I feel like you have some really positive, you know, reinforcements coming through support, love, appreciation from other people, new love, even, and new love coming through that will, I feel like it's um, it's bringing up a lot of fears in you, okay? Because you, you do have some issues from the past that you need to work through. So let me just go into your love reading and see what's in store for you guys for the month of August 2017. So Aquarius, love relationships, August So they, they keep mentioning like no longer being stuck in the dark, no longer doubting your intuition and no longer uh, putting yourself in situations where you're dealing with a lot of uncertainty. You're coming into this month in your relationship sector where you are a lot more, I, I want to say like assertive and very, very concise about your expectations when it comes to dealing with other people. You're going to be very clear. You know, I don't like it when you do that. And I like it when you do that. So do more of that. You're going to be very, very verbal and very clear when you're dealing with other people and you're going to give them, you know, a piece of your mind if they, um, if you feel any transgression. So it's, it's almost like no more Mr. Nice guy or Mrs. Nice girl. <laughs> so I, I feel like you're, you're going to exercise, um, tough love for this month when it comes to your relationship sector and, you know, kind of like demanding that the other person prove their intentions before you even entertain the thought of dating them. Okay. For, for singles. So it looks really good actually Aquarius. So like no more BS is pretty much 
what it's saying like you're not stuck in the dark anymore you don't you don't have any uh, self-esteem issues anymore and so you're not settling for less okay okay so let me just talk about this let me talk about the past we have here the two of wands and we have the high priestess some of you are in this long distance type of a relationship and uh, the long distance relationship basically it's um it's a it's indicative of you know geographical distance where you, two people live apart they come together meet up occasionally and then they drift apart again so i feel like it's a long distance relationship where you really care about the other person and they likewise really care about you um i feel like for this month the the truth might come out about this relationship okay so some truth is being revealed in this relationship and especially if it's a long distance relationship um you're getting tired of maintaining the distance it's starting to dawn on you that you know like this i'm putting my life on hold and the other person is also putting their life on hold so that we can sustain this relationship and i know that you really care about the other person and they really care about you too but it's starting to become a little bit difficult and i also feel like you know you're looking at this globe here and you're wondering what is the alternative what is my life going to look like um am i ready to scrap this relationship so that we both can free ourselves or can one of us relocate to where the other person is so that we can start a relationship together so those of you in long distance relationship i feel like massive reshuffling or restructuring in your home environment in order to accommodate the other person so i feel like some of you are going to move to where they are to be with them you might have talked about this briefly in the past but i feel like this is the month in which you are going to finalize some decisions here okay so uh long distance relationship people i feel like things are looking good and you both are coming together which brings us here to the present moment we have the nine of coins and the queen of swords and let me talk about singles because this just screamed out singles the nine of coins this is a situation where we are overcoming hardships okay sailing over all the difficult patches in our lives um rejecting people that are not living up to their snuff who who make promises that they can't keep and especially if they um it's, it's almost like you're no longer dating because you want to fill the time and the void. You want to find high quality people. So you have turned down a lot of, um, I, I want to say like insignificant suitors because in your eyes, they're just, they, they don't make the cut. And so this is the epitome of, you know, a, a single man or a single lady. So like the bachelor or the bachelorette card. And I feel like you're focused on your long-term goals, you're focused on your professional life, you're focused on your financial situation, and you're not really putting your feelers out there when it comes to dating. And I also feel a lot of you have um, dealt with this person. This is an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, and they mention and it's really weird, I never get this message with this card, but if you look really carefully, she's kind of like two-faced and so i'm feeling like you were dealing with this person who talked out of this uh, you know the the other side of their mouth they say something they don't mean they might have been very very deceitful or manipulative or kind of like duplicitous and i feel like they um there is this sense about you know them wanting to be with you because because you're so independent that they felt it was like a conquest, you know, like a conquest in order to be with you, in order to make you fall in love with them. So I feel like the, the feelings was not sincere from their end, okay? They, they have some work they need to work uh, to, to do. And I feel like a lot of you have sailed away from this person. You're no longer keeping in contact. You're no longer talking to them. And um, you might have really cared about this person, but I feel that they really hurt you. So I'm feeling some of you are still dealing with that and you're moving away from it, which is good. Okay. It's, it's gradually moving into the past 
And what you're thinking about right now, we have here the five of coins. And this is the card when I shuffled it out. That's when they say no longer being in the dark. Okay, no longer lacking options, no longer dealing with um, insecurities or low self-esteem. So if you were with somebody who did not, you know, treat you well, and especially who might have been very deceitful, it, it left you thinking like, you know, why did they break up with me? Why did they do that to me? Was I not enough? And I feel like it really, really did a number on your self-esteem. And moving into the month of August, your self-esteem is getting a huge, huge boost. So we have here the Wheel of Fortune, which means things kind of like um, moving along for the better. You're rising from, you know, this space of darkness and despair and feeling financial lack and feeling like oh I'm not good enough you're you're moving away from this and you're being kind of like your your vibration your energy is rising to this okay so Aquarius this is a big big especially for singles this is a big big self-esteem boosting month and I honestly don't feel like it has anything to do with other people you know it, it's not like it's not like there you have a lot of suitors and then you start to feel really good about yourself. I feel like a lot of you have done a lot of work on yourself. There might have been a new job that, you know, uh, it, it brought about fortune. It brought about validation. So then you feel really good. But these are things that you did. These are things that are coming through to confirm to you how worthy you are. And so that you can, you know, come out of this pit of despair after that breakup with another person and you felt like you weren't enough for them. So you're coming into your own. You're getting a big, big self-esteem boost and you're going to feel really good this month. OK, so the foundation here is something that you know to be true. We have here the six of cups and this is a soulmate type of a connection. This is a card about, you know, being with somebody who really, really appreciates us, who really, really loves us. And um, they, they make like, you know, really kind gestures in order to show their appreciation. So I feel like some of you are, deal are getting a lot of communication here with the Knight of Swords. You have somebody that is coming in. They're very, very spirited. They're very, I want to say like, um, they're really... They're very um, flamboyant about their displays of affection. And I feel like they can be a little bit more on the mushy end. Even though it shows up here as an air sign, I feel like for some of you, this is an energy of a person coming through. They're very clear about how they communicate. And if they need to get mushy and gushy, they're going to do that to show you how much you mean to them. And I wanted you as well to be a little bit careful because... The Six of Cups is a blast from the past. So some of you might be hearing from an air sign from your past, an Aquarius, a Gemini, and a Libra. And if this is a person that have hurt you in the past, you want to be careful about not, you know, getting entangled in that, okay? But I do see some reconciliation. I do see an apology coming through here with the Six of Cups because the Six of Cups is a very childlike energy. It can be where, you know, people open up and they come in without any malice. It could just be an apology, a proper, an apolo a proper apology that allows you to understand, you know, so that you can let go of resentment, so that you can let go of um, things from the past, and so that you can move on and, you know, feel good about the, feel good that you have left that person behind. Reconciliation is not about getting back together. It's not about, you know, rekindling the relationship. I feel like some of you are old an apology and you're going to give the other person an apology. And likewise, I feel like if you are also, if you have done something wrong, I feel like some of you are going to be uh, inspired to, you know, apologize to another person. Okay. So it's going to flow both ways, but I feel like energy dense you know residual dense energy is clearing up because things are looking a lot better and brighter for you guys coming into the future position we have here the three of coins and the three of coins is um you and another person building a relationship communication flowing really well 
you are coming together in order to create something of value with another person. So I feel for, for couple people, especially long distance people, and especially it's linked up here with the seven of cups. If you are dating, I feel like you have some solid options in the picture for you and the person that you're dating, they want to take the relationship to the next level. So I have here an air sign. So this is brand new air sign. Okay. Not anybody from the past because you need to let that go. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, sun, moon, or rising. And I have very strong water energy, water sign. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, they're saying here to um, cherish the relationship, take things very, very slowly. If you're not prepared to rush into another relationship, just, um, you know, give it some time. Okay, don't rush because I feel like you've just overcome an ordeal, but you're trying to build things. You're trying to make things better. Long distance relationship people, I feel like it's looking really good for you. And I also feel single, single people that have been through the ringer, you're going to start dating again. And you have somebody that really, they're very sincere. They want to commit, okay? Um, best of luck for you guys, Aquarius. I hope this reading has been helpful for you. I do wish you all the best, okay? If you'd like to um, book a private reading with me, please visit my website below in the description box. Also, if you'd like to donate to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. The link also is in the description box. I'll be back in the mid-month um, of August. And see what's coming in that's new for you guys, okay? You have some really, really solid, very good things coming through in the love sector. So best of luck with everything. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.